The provost and the dean of the graduate school said that these grades need to be submitted in a timely fashion. The students depend on these grades to graduate and to move on to a life of jobs and after school here at UNC. And of course, we know that a lot of graduation festivities are kicking off this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and the big graduation here at UNC Chapel Hill this coming Sunday. We came back out today to try and talk to these some of these student demonstrators and the professors, the UNC faculty for justice in Palestine, who said said yesterday that they'd withhold reporting official grades to the university until suspended students are granted amnesty. We were told some of them had come here to the administration building, the South building, but by the time we got here, most of the folks had scattered for the day. The fence that we're standing in front of set up in the middle of Polk Place does remain tonight. It has been really quite a few weeks at college campuses across the country, including here in Chapel Hill. Police detained 36 protesters during a demonstration last week after the university said those folks who had been here for days started to violate university policy. We, of course, know someone here. We don't know who exactly had put up a Palestinian flag in the middle of campus before it was taken down. We were also here yesterday on a rainy Sunday as folks demonstrated once again. The three paragraph statement today from the provost and dean of the graduate school also said, quote, we are asking you to please work with your faculty and graduate students to ensure that we follow exemplary practice in our work as educators. We strongly support the right of faculty and graduate students to express their opinions freely, but there are better ways to do this than hurting our students and abrogating our contact, our contract, I should say, with the people of North Carolina who support our university. We are counting on your leadership in this matter. And Steve uh, Bianca also reached out to the university to see if the provost Chris, Cl Chris Clemens would be willing to sit with us for an interview this afternoon. They told us no and that his statement quote stands as does his response on the issue. I did catch up with a member of the Chapel Hill uh, town council. They have been quite supportive of a number of these student protesters here in the last couple of weeks. We'll hear from him coming up at six o'clock. Stephen Bianca back to you.